Hello, I'm Tarrant Hobbs and with my grandson Jake Gutteridge we are identifying all the trees that we can in Cedars Park. This started this summer and will take us until 2020 because there are literally thousands of trees in this park. We have visited this park for many years since my grandson moved to this area. Many people often asked either of us what a particular tree was. Although I, uh, I may know some names of trees, we didn't know the proper names of like certain oaks or certain uh, maples. So uh, we then became friends. We were invited to join the Friends of Cedars Park, which is a volunteer group that, in addition to the council, do, do work in the park you know, to make it better. The park is, is going to be arranged in different zones, that's different areas, because it's such a big park, the only way to make it easier for people to find if they're looking for a particular tree or where they are is to, to, to zone it. So we've currently started on Zone A, which is known as the Memorial Gardens, around the car park. And then we intend to put it in a booklet or, or an A4 sheet with information about each zones and uh, people will be able to obtain a copy of this with a small donation just to cover the costs of copying, not to make any profit. Quite a few trees have a memorial uh, number either in concrete or wood with a number on it uh, where people uh, remembering their friends or family in the park. Uh, there is a list available which we're trying to get hold of from the council which uh, lists all the numbers against the uh, different trees. Some of these memorial stones have been disturbed over the years and they may not be with the correct tree. Uh, some are sunk into the ground, uh, concrete ones and some are uh, uh, freestanding and uh, these have got to be sorted out because uh, some people also want to plant a new tree and if we can evolve a tidy new system then people can just be added to it, so anybody looking at that tree will know who that person is remembered. This information will be updated periodically, but for the moment this gives you the, the, the basis of the idea. And in uh, around the park, in the cafe, uh, is an information sheet just explaining what the project is all about. Bye bye for now, from us both. Also, I'd like to make a comment about people sadly spoiling the park by dropping litter. This amount in my hand was picked up in the past few minutes. It's quite unnecessary and please, members of the public, don't do it.